American cities have fundamentally altered how they built themselves over the last 60 years. And to me, the, the place that it really started was the 1939 World's Fair at what was the most successful World's Fair in history, the most successful exhibit was one called Futurama. To help us get a glimpse into the future of this unfinished world of ours, there has been created for the New York World's Fair a thought-provoking exhibit of the developments ahead of us, a vivid tribute to the American scheme of living. Come, let's travel into the future. What will we see? Futurama portrayed the future of the city in that distant year, 1960. The world we are now seeing is a vision, an artistic conception which may undergo many changes as it develops into the great realities of tomorrow. And it portrayed a city that was car-driven, lots of open spaces, you could live in the country, and drive to your job downtown, and you'd have the best of two worlds. Over space, man has begun to win victory. Suburban splendor and urban excitement. Uh, not coincidentally, Futurama was sponsored by General Motors, and they were promoting what we wanted. And it's my sense that 1939, just before the war, the clouds are looming over Europe. We go off to war, and we have this image that's mulling in our minds, and we come back and we implement Futurama. 15 million GIs came back from the war, clamoring for new homes and a piece of land in the country. Almost overnight, suburbia was born. idea about American communities. And my father was a part of that because he was a builder. And so in our area in Kansas City, Missouri, uh, his employer, the J.C. Nichols Company, was finishing a home a day for years following the Second World War. And this was all about a new hopeful American dream.